Welcome to the video series for Symantec EmailSecurity.Cloud. This video shows you how to set up email submission so your users can report suspicious emails to Symantec with the click of a button. If a user finds a message in their inbox that looks like spam or a phishing attempt, or if it has a suspicious attachment, they can send the email directly to Symantec for analysis. When you install email submission, a new Report Email button is added to the Outlook ribbon. A user simply highlights the suspicious email and clicks the button to send the message off for analysis. Let's take a look at the three simple steps to make email submission available to your end users. First, in the portal, you can set up administrator alerts so your administrators can receive copies of the messages that your users are submitting. This is optional. Then, on the same page, you need to set up anti-malware alerts. You can send them to the same administrator or a different one. This is required. Your final step is to go to the Exchange Admin Center or the Office 365 Admin Center and install the email submission add-in. This is also required. Let's take a look at how to set up administrator alerts in the portal. Open the Email Submission Settings page in the portal, which is under the Email Services group. Here, you have the option to add up to five addresses for administrators who can receive copies of spam and phishing messages that have been sent in for analysis. You could also add text to the beginning of the subject line of each submitted message to mark the ones that are from the Email Submission Service. Setting up this type of alert is optional. Next you'll need to set up anti-malware alerts for messages that are submitted with attachments. When a user submits an email that has attachments, the message is automatically sent to Symantec Security Response for analysis. But this happens only if you provide contact information for an administrator in your organization. In the anti-malware email submission section, enter the first and last name and email address of the administrator who will receive the alerts. If you leave this section empty, messages with attachments will not be delivered to Symantec Security Response for analysis. You need an address in this section or Symantec won't have any way to provide updates on your user submissions. Now you can install the email submission add-in in the Exchange Admin Center. In the Exchange Admin Center, under Organization, on the Add-ins page, Click the plus sign and then select Add from URL. In the Add from URL dialog box, paste this URL for the Symantec email submission add-in. You can also find this URL in the email submission installation guide, which is linked from the portal on the email submission settings page. Then click Install. On the next screen, click Save. Let's also take a look at how to deploy email submission in the Office 365 Admin Center. Office 365 administrators can deploy the email submission add-in through centralized deployment. Once you log into Office 365 with an administrator account, open the Settings page and then Services and Add-ins and choose Upload Add-in. In the new add-in dialog box, paste this URL into the I have a URL for the manifest file field. This URL is also provided in the email submission installation guide, which you can find in the portal on the email submission settings page. Once you enter or paste the URL, click Next. Office 365 administrators have the option to deploy the email submission add-in for specific users or groups. Use the search box to find your preferred users or groups, and remember to click Save. Your installation is complete. The Report Email button should now be active in your user's Outlook clients.